is up family my name is Rosie Iglesias and this is gonna be a video spilling the tea and by tea I mean the reason that I officially resigned from IML or I Master Academy and it's not why you think I'm gonna put here evidence of certain things and you're gonna see it on the screen and I just want to start off by saying that I have no intentions on bashing a company. Um, I am is a great company for you know learning and getting you know knowledge on the foreign exchange and cryptocurrency markets. It's a great great platform, but there were certain things that led to the decision that I had to make. Um, it's definitely. A quite complicated situation I'm gonna try and simple down for all of you so this process all started about eight to nine weeks ago the beginning of December we are already in February and it all started when at an I am event in Miami some leaders some platinum 5000s in the current organization we were in approached me and my partner Jared um, who was an, also an active um, leader in that organization we are on different lines and that we were on different lines um, and we got approached saying that you know we, we want to leave this organization um, I've been or I was a part of I am for almost three years and it's something that for three years um, our leadership wasn't really present for some time for about a year i rocked with a leader um and he was great i'm not gonna lie he was a great great leader but certain things started changing in his character his priorities things that you know were happening and it, it, it there was no leader at a point um from the beginning i pretty much made up my own system i was rocking with my wi-fi wolf movement squad out there in puerto rico in different states um and i at from the moment I started, I became an umbrella to my organization because of the lack of leadership that I had and I didn't want my people to experience that. Um, and I'm not gonna dive into the details. If you want details and you know me, I can definitely go and dive in if you call me or something else. But let's just say there was no leadership and there was this feeling around the whole organization that we were just basically numbers uh, and people were just cashing out checks and i'm not saying this i'm literally quoting people that i'm not going to mention and yeah so we got approached hey we want to go to another organization so what we decided to do um was go to leadership of the company we went to um, people that have positions as corporate and we asked hey what can we do um, it's a lot of people it was more than 300 people that you know their leaders and their current teams that were not happy with the situation um, that wanted to leave and we had three options we were either gonna wait out six months we were either gonna go to another team in the company because we wanted to stay in the company or we were going to leave the company which is not what we wanted to do um but what happened throughout those weeks we we were suggested hey go and talk to your leadership and ask for release like a release of their leadership um throughout this whole process multiple platinum 2000s platinum 5000s that were already feeling the same way that we were and we were actually not even aware about they decided to leave to another competing company of i am um and this is important because that was tried to pin on us when we didn't even know that this was going on um as some leaders approached us having these feelings some other leaders were already having um, conversations and meetings with other companies so that's important going back um, we go ahead and have that call um, there were three leaders there was a chairman 25 a chairman 100 and a chairman 10 um, two of them didn't even turn their cameras on um, and that call was really filled with um, accusations of us having active accounts already created in other parts of I am which we did not if we would have, um, we would be building those accounts happy with a leadership that we actually um, wanted to be in. Uh, we also got accused of talking and actively recruiting members of that organization 
um, that were not in our downline to go to that other team within IM, which we didn't have an account and was completely false. Um, and yes, it was full of people accusing us. Then the conversation pretty much ended as we don't care if you guys want to either wait out six months or if you want to go build another um, company, you can do whatever you want. Um, your teams are assets to this company. So we started reaching out to them. Noted, these leaders did not reach out to us for a whole month. Like, no reaching out and they literally said on the call yeah we were just gathering up evidence um before we even spoke to you which it seems that they had no intention in and yeah they made us feel like numbers like the numbers that we were they confirmed it by just saying this is just business um it's just business people that you know have built alongside of well in your organization for three years to not even have a phone call and ask a question of like, hey, what's going on? Um, but on the side note, that conversation was a very nasty call, I'm gonna say. Um, again, two people didn't even turn on their cameras um, and the conversation pretty much ended as we have better things to do right now. I have a call, bye, and they just ended up the Zoom. And yeah, so that didn't work out. And noted, we went to corporate leadership for men, like for help in this situation because we did not want to go and do it the sneaky way and build a secret account. We did not want to do that, but we wanted to preserve the company because we knew two things were going to happen. Either a lot of people were going to leave I am and go to some other company or they were going to stay in I am with a different leadership, which was what we always wanted. Um, this whole process, um, we waited um, a six, seven, week period and throughout this bunch of leaders left the organization and the company um and january 6th after right not hearing from anyone not knowing nothing we didn't know if we were going to cancel our accounts and wait out the six months or we were just going to stay building there um right we were made with we, we were left that call with a decision to make. Uh, we were told that a case was made on us, um, but we were like, what What case? Because we haven't done anything, right? We, we haven't gone to another team. We haven't done anything to have a case built up. So um, a case apparently was built and it was sent out to corporate. Um, and January 6th, I logged into my account and I couldn't. So the business that I built for three years suddenly it says you can't log in, you can't see your back office, you can't make the money that you were making, my paycheck, everything got cut or suspended as they say um, for no apparent reason. Guys, like I literally read the IBO agreement um, and there is no reason for why they could have suspended us because we were still actively building that account. My team brought in volume the whole month of December under the current leadership. Um, we didn't have any other accounts. So yes, I sent out an email that day to corporate asking, right? Why is my account suspended? Yeah, we were put in a position where it was not gonna be smart for us to just sit there and wait for corporate to answer. We then decided that January 19th was the day that we were going to officially send our resignation. This was sent because if I at Master Academy tried to come out legally saying that we were actively building another company while they suspended us, that was false. If they were going to try and come after us legally saying that we were actively recruiting members of the company it was going to be false since we had officially resigned. And after that day, um, we did decide to look at other business ventures and we officially started way um, after They did that. answer. I'm going to put what they answered. Um, two weeks later, two weeks after, two weeks paychecks that we didn't receive for assumptions and accusations. Um, and yeah, off of a lie pretty much my account was suspended and this is my personal take on this um and the reason that i finally decided that if my account were to get reactivated i wouldn't want to stay in that company that company does not have a distinction between corporate and the field um 
there's no procedures um, being followed, right? I, I got cut um, a $2,000 check but a month, but what if it would have been a $50,000 check and it just gets cut like that? No warning, no email, no nothing. Um, and they can just do that. And it was based off lies and assumptions made by our leadership, which never contacted us, never nothing. Um, and the company just did that. They never reached out to the person that they were cutting their their checks. They, they never contacted the person that loyally built for three years, They nothing. They just, whatever our leadership told corporate, they just followed, they cut our checks, they cut our business, and we can't log in till this day, which I'm still waiting for a response that I sent because um, when they replied, as you can see in the screen, they said that they were pretty much, you know, we, we, we got note that you have intent of changing teams. Um, and I, I still have to read those exact words as a violation of the IBO agreement, which I read multiple times. And, uh, yeah, we, we're going to contact the leadership to see if the case was resolved. And as you can see in this other email, it's pretty much how are you going to contact the people that made up things about me and my partner that was an active IBO in the company um, to see if it got resolved. Like this is a case that they're putting against us and shouldn't the company have the best interest of, like the best interest of the distributors per se, not just the leadership. Um, and yeah, it was very unfair what happened um so we opened our possibilities we opened our mind to seeing other opportunities um and we found something so with that being said um we have goals right my partner and i we have goals i have a why and with a company that just can do that um i don't feel safe building there um i don't trust in a lot of the leadership there. Um, and the whole purpose of this video is really addressing the people that I do have relationships with, the people that are great leaders in this industry and in that company. This has nothing to do with you. I love you all and I hope, right, that a company that someone's building does not determine um, your friendships, which I know that it won't be the case, but we found another vehicle that I'm extremely excited about. Um, it's honestly everything I've been kind of looking for. Um, I was so closed off to the idea of other companies and other business ventures because um, it, it's like programmed in a certain way that if it's not like I am, you'll die and there's nothing better. There's no other compensation plan. There's no other product. And there is, there's so much better. There's bigger payouts. There's more education um, and again, I am is a great company. You're going to get a lot of value. It It's great, but it's like I found better and I'm excited for what's about to happen. I'm excited for, you know, the leaders that are going to be partnering up with me. This is super important. I'm not making this video to shame on I am. I'm not making this video to say, hey, this happened to me. It's going to happen to you. I'm making this video as a testimony. I'm making this video because I want to clear out the air and the rumors. And I want to make this video because I don't want anyone getting cut out as to why I suddenly, you know, resigned from a company I was fiercely <laughs> building for three years. And it was because they suspended my account. No explanation no reason whatsoever and to this day a month later still no response from corporate as to why and the evidence as to why so with that being said i'm gonna be dropping a video very soon as to everything that i'm launching i'm super super excited about everything I uh, it's still in the investment space there's a lot to learn so guys i appreciate you all i hope this cleared out the air um and this is just um me letting know my experience with I'm Mastery Academy. Great company. If you come in as a customer, as a builder, hopefully you get started with the right leadership because if you don't, um, yes, you can make it happen, but it's very hard growing in a toxic environment where you're just a number. That's not network marketing. Network marketing is not just, this is just business. Network marketing is a business for people, by people, with the people that you're building. People are not numbers. And those are values that I, stand by and morals that I will not change to get a paycheck. And that's why um, we made the decision to completely resign from I am, not wait six months, not 
we, we don't believe in the way that this was handled. Um, and that's the story, guys.